Hi, everyone. We're live with EdTech Team Online. We're going to wait a few minutes just as people jump on the call today. But we're excited to be talking about um, our Math and G Suite online course. So make sure that you're following us on Twitter. You can use that just as people jump on the You can use the hashtag EdTech Team Online. And we're going to get started in just a couple more minutes. We're going to wait for a few more people to jump on today. All right. So we have some people trickling onto the call today. Welcome, everybody, to EdTech Team Online. This is our sneak preview of our online course covering math and G Suite. Um, today we have a special guest speaker who actually wrote the course for us. And her name is Emily Fitzpatrick. Emily's background is in math education. She has taught math in Belgium, the UK, and Canada. Her specialty is grades 6 through 12. However, she's worked with all the grades. So we're super excited to hear from her today as she tells us a little bit more about the course. So um, once again, before we get started, just to quickly introduce myself, my name is Dominique Dines, and I work with EdTech Team Online, our online program. We also have Tracy Purdy working on the back channel today. She's the director of EdTech Team Online. So we'd love if you have any questions about the program or other courses, please reach out to us. You can see our emails and Twitter handles there. But we're going to go ahead and get started and jump into our sneak preview of Math and G Suite. So today, it's very exciting. If you're watching live today for the online sneak preview, we are giving away a free course today. Okay, So you'll be able to see the um, URL there. You go to edtech.team forward slash course for free. Go ahead and fill out that form for a chance to win a free Math and G Suite course. We will be um, sharing that link at the end of the presentation today as well. But go ahead and take a minute to enter your information now if you're interested in winning a free course. While you're filling that out, just want to remind you that we are um, tweeting using the hashtag EdTechTeamOnline. So please feel free to um, tweet along the things you're learning. Or if you have questions, you can put them there. Or also feel free to put questions in the Q&A if you're watching the, um, the feed live today. OK. You ready to get started, Emily? I'm super excited. Awesome. OK, so we are so excited for Math and G Suite. We've had a lot of people interested in learning how to use um, the tools that Google offers in their math classrooms. So we have a few questions for you today as we get started. And the first question is, what is the main focus of this course? So the main focus is really how do math teachers and math educators really use our core Google tools? So Google Docs, slides, drawings, forms, effectively in their math classroom. Um, I know as a math teacher, I always went to a whole bunch of different conferences and summits, and it was always like, that's so cool. Like, the English teachers get so lucky. They get to use that. Um, but there really wasn't that really clear connection of how to use those in any type of math class. So that's what the course really looks at. It goes, how do we take our core tools? How do we use them for deeper understanding and really allowing our students to be those mathematicians? and those problem solvers. So rather than just sitting there and computing a whole bunch of different questions, how do we use that to help communicate and collaborate and problem solve together? Um, kind of thrown in with that is a whole bunch of math specific tools because there's so many great um, online manipulatives or resources out there for our students to use um, to really understand what it is that we're talking about, especially when we go super abstract in those higher levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. I think this is a great course for teachers to take to kind of learn some of what you were saying. And so for the people who are taking this course, we're going to jump on to the next question. Why do you think this course is important for educators? 
I think it gives educators and math educators specifically that chance to utilize the tools that our students are so comfortable with and that they really like to use in their learning. Um, I always like to think that math teachers once upon a time were the, one of the first ones to start using technology in their classes. We had calculators mm -hmm. um, that provided us with all of our trig ratios where we didn't have to look them up um, in our big binders anymore. And then it kind of, there was this big lull that there was nobody really there. Um, the tech tools kind of seemed to be distracted or um, disconnected from mm -hmm. it. So then this course allows teachers to then kind of re-engage with that technology piece and allow their students to re-engage with that piece and understand really how those two worlds get to be blended together. No, that sounds awesome. And there are so many new tools out there that a lot of teachers aren't even aware of. I know you're going to talk about a few new tools um, coming up, but before we jump into the different tools that are covered in the course, do you think you could share one easy way for teachers to start using tech in their math class? Definitely. And I've got a um, Google Doc open that I've made some math manipulatives. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Perfect. All right, can you see that? Yes. So this would be a handout that I might put up on Google Classroom for each of my students to get a copy of. And now it might just look like a regular Google Doc, but what I really like to use in any kind of math classroom is this idea of an online manipulative. And I like using Google Drawings for it. So inside this table, each of these pictures are actually a Google Drawing. And what that means is that when I double click on it, I've got that workspace. So in math, I always remember um, getting my students as well as I, I'd split my page in half and then half of it would be for rough work and for like my scribbles. And then the other half would be kind of for my answer and what my solution was. And Google Drawings allows us to have that kind of scribble pad in there. So using kind of algebra tiles, looking at factors, um, specifically this question is asking what are the factors of six, my students are able to take their Chromebooks or their other devices and be like, okay, well I can take these squares and I can put them in groups of two. I can cheat and take two of them together. So one of the factors of six is three times two. But then we can also take that and go a different way. So maybe we do Maybe I'm trying it out and I'm like, oh, maybe it'll be four. And I can go through and try that and be like, no, that one's not going to work. And then I can click that save and close button. And it saves that specific to my Google Doc. So then when I hand this back into my teacher or I share it with somebody for feedback, all of my working out is there, but it's not taking over my screen. I can still see everything else on it. Yeah, no, it's super practical. Yeah, and a great way to use Google Drawings and Google Docs. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun and nice and simple, especially now that we've got Google Classroom that will allow um, me to push that out to our students. And with so many Chromebooks being in math classrooms now, it's another way that we can kind of reduce that paper waste that goes into that backpack that might never be seen again. <laughs> yes, so true. I love that. And so that's just one of the many ways or many things you're going to be showing in this course. But what are some of the other tools you're going to be covering in the course? Yeah, so we look at how do we get our math type or our math symbols in our online or digital manipulatives. So we look at GMath specifically coming and working in Google Docs. And then how can we take those equations that we're able to create with GMath and get them into slides, or get them into a Kahoot, or get them into a Pear Deck. Um, we also take a look, My one of my big favorites is Google Slides, and how can we use Google Slides to blend the world of pen and paper, as well as blending the world of digital. So using um, the ability to change the size of your slide, and how can we take our paper world and save it digitally. Mm -hmm. We take a look at Pixie Clip, which is a really neat scribble pad on your device, which is web-based, 
So again, allowing your students to be able to do um, that equation writing without being limited to just that pen and paper. Uh, drawings like I've shared with you. But then we also look at screencasting or music making or video making with Soundtrap or WeVideo or Screencastify to really help our students be able to explain what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And that's so fun because when you say music, I often don't connect music and math. Yeah, and it really gives the students a chance to be their own individuals rather than always having to write it out in steps, like here are the six steps, this is my first one, this is my second one. Um, giving our students that chance to bring in their other strengths and their other subjects to really showcase and communicate their problem solving skills. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Um, and then as I forgot to mention earlier, but this is a just in time course with EdTech Team Online. And so that means that this course you can take at any time on your own time. It's anytime, anywhere learning. And you can work at your own pace, which is really nice for educators. And all these different tools that Emily has shared, um, you get to try out in your classroom. So it's super practical, very hands-on, something you can take to the classroom the next day. And each course that we have with EdTech Team Online does have an interactive online piece. We have a Google Plus online community where people are sharing what they're learning and just sharing with one another. You, um, the people who take the course will be interacting using Google+. And then as we've been using on this call, we also have um, the EdTech Team Online Twitter hashtag. And if you follow that online, you'll see there's a lot of um, conversation happening around all of our courses. And so it's fun. This course is a great way for educators to learn some new tips and tricks and also to get connected with others online. Um, we'd like to take a few minutes now for some questions. I know we have um, quite a few people watching online right now or watching us live. So I don't know, Tracy, you're checking the back channel. I don't know if you've seen any questions come through. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I just I wanted to, um, one question that came in, Emily, will you just share a little bit more about whether you imported the Google Drawing into the Google Doc or you created it right there? Someone had a question about that to start. Yeah, that's a great question. I'm going to go share my screen again. Um, so these are just created within um, my Google Doc. So I just gone up to that insert and then drawing, and I've done it that way. And then once I have one, you can copy and paste them. So I can take this factors of nine, I could copy it, and then I can paste it down here. And find the paste, there we go. And then I can go back in that and change that one. I also like to have a whole grouping of Google Drawings that I'll keep for my manipulatives in my Google Drive, so that if I know I'm gonna be using algebra tiles um, that are maybe kind of that x square x and those one and minus ones, um, then I'm able to open up that Google Drawing and copy and paste it into that Google Doc that I'm working on. Awesome. Yeah, in Google Drawings and Google Docs, they work seamlessly together. So, they do. Yes. And it's and so easy. Awesome. Yeah. Another question? So, yeah, yeah, then another question that came through, I can answer. Um, this, the question came in, is this course only in English right now, and will it be available in other languages? It is only in English right now, but we will work to translate the courses, uh, probably first into Spanish since Dominique can do that for us, and then we'll also work to translate it into French. Those will be the first couple languages, and then we'll see where that goes. So um, keep checking back, and um, let's see here. Uh, people would like a copy of your Google Doc, Emily, if that's possible. People would also like a copy of the slides. So we can send both of those out in a follow-up email to everybody. Um, and if you do have further questions, please just tweet them out to EdTech Team Online and we'll get back to you um, at any time. If you watch this later and you have some questions, please reach out to us. Awesome. That's all we have in the back channel right now. Okay. Great, yeah, and as Tracy said, we'd love to hear from you. Um, if you're watching this, maybe you're watching the recording and a question comes up, please feel free to um, email us and, or tweet us and we'd love to respond there. 
But before we finish up today, remember we are giving away a free course for people who are watching live. So please take a minute to fill out that form. And I'm just going to go through a couple other little announcements, and then Tracy's going to um, pick a random winner there for us. So take a couple minutes. I'll leave that on the screen to make sure you can still see that. Um, we do have a couple other sneak previews coming up. We have two coming up in the next um, two weeks to finish up this month of March. So in just a second, Tracy will jump to the next slide so we can see when those are. Thank you. Uh, we have Design Thinking to Affect Change. That's happening on March 15th, 7 p.m. That's um, Central Time, U.S. Central Time. And then at the end of the month, we have a sneak preview of our ELL literacy strategies. And that's March 29th, and that's 7.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. So if you're interested in learning more about our online courses and what's coming up, please um, feel free to reach out to us, RSVP to those events. We'd love to have you there. We are giving away a free course at each event, so it's very fun to be a part of. Tracy, how are the free the free course submissions coming. Wait, Great. I'll give everybody one more minute. Okay. Just to see if anybody is finishing up and then I'll put them through the random name generator to pick a winner. Awesome. And as um, we're waiting for a few more people, if you are interested in enrolling for the Math and G Suite course and also get 10% off, we do have a sneak preview discount. And this is available until March 29th. So you have a few more days um, to enroll and get that 10% off. But yeah, we got All right. It. All right. I'm picking the winner, going through the random name generator. And our winner today is Linda Kraus. So Linda, we will be emailing you to let you know that you have won the free course. Congratulations. And um, you can tell us which course you'd like to take. So thank you. Yay. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the sneak preview. Um, be in touch with further questions. Thanks, Emily. Hey, bye, guys. Thank you.